In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use one app to access your computer at home and essentially have Windows 10 on your iPad Pro. Let's get into the video right now. Okay, so right now we're back on my iPad and I actually have a setup with a mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard. So that way we can use, I have my mouse hooked up to this little USB connector and then this is my Bluetooth keyboard here. So let's jump right into the app. The app is called Splashtop Streamer. This application is about $17 for a year, which is only a little bit over a dollar a month. So when you when you think about the use cases and how much this could help you, I definitely think that $17 is well worth it. So you just all you do is open up the application. Once you've actually set up your account and you've logged in, when you open it up, it'll bring up your computers here. So all you have to do is make sure that your other computer is on and that you have the Splashtop Streamer program downloaded and you, that you're logged in on that. Once you are, you just click on it. It'll connect to the computer as you see here. And it's really cool because it lets you run essentially Windows on your, on your iPad. Now, if you have like a magic keyboard or some kind of Bluetooth keyboard case, this will really feel like an actual laptop experience, you know, minus the the speed here and there. There might be a little bit of lag here and there because your Wi-Fi speed doesn't is not always consistent. It'll go up and down. But when you log in, this is your screen here. My monitor is a full HD resolution, so it pulls up that 1920 by 1080 resolution here. That's why it doesn't fill up the entire screen. But you can go in the window settings and actually adjust it so that way you have it set up and fill up the whole iPad screen. I personally like the smaller look a little bit better. I don't know why, but it just feels more normal to have that, that wider screen there. Um, once you have it open up, you can have you know any web browser open, kind of go looking through that. That's my YouTube channel there. And then you can go to YouTube Studio, get the full version without that weird iPad zoom on Safari. When they have the desktop version of the websites on your iPad, you can pretty much open up any program you could on your computer. I've used it and try to use some of the engineering applications like AutoCAD or SolidWorks. Those graphic intensive tasks, definitely you need more, need a higher Wi-Fi connection. So as long as you have really good Wi-Fi speeds, you should be able to do something that's low, that's like that. If you're doing video editing, that will definitely have some lag because that's just solely relying on that Wi-Fi speed. And if you're not somewhere with a really strong Wi-Fi signal, it's definitely gonna lag. So what I've done, I've tried to do this before. I've tried to actually game a little bit on here. So we'll try to open up Call of Duty here. I've tried this before with running a game on there. It's really laggy and it's really slow. But I just wanna show you how it runs and the sound output. So we're just gonna go through that right now. So you can definitely watch YouTube videos that like that kind of stuff on your iPad. So let me just show you my one of my last videos. In this video, I'm going to show you the best tip to take your exam on your iPad. I did this same exact thing and it saved me a ton of time. So let me show you exactly. So it works really well. You can see there's not much lag there. It's just using your Wi-Fi signal. Of course, you can just watch this in the YouTube app on your iPad, but this is more for other purposes that you would use it for. So let me go to, um, let's say MATLAB. MATLAB is a program I use, run some codes for some of my classes at for calculations and stuff. So I've used this from, uh, from home before where I have my desktop upstairs and I wanted to work on something downstairs. I just brought down a keyboard and a mouse and used it with my iPad. Just takes a little bit to load and then once it loads, we'll go from there. Okay, so now that it's loaded up, you can basically just type in any code. You can use your keyboard too. So what I have to do is, you know, I'm just writing some basic, just some little basic codes here. Um, you know, you can do F equals 
12 plus 12, answer 24. Just very generic basic things. But I've used this a lot when it comes to my engineering programs and, and submitting homework in case I've forgotten it. Um, if you go to the app store and you look it up, show you what that is looks like oops have my cap locks on so as you can see here um, there's a yearly subscription or a monthly subscription I went ahead I went ahead and paid for the yearly one just because it's going to be a little bit cheaper I believe and overall I think it's worth the investment it has really good reviews I haven't had very much venue I haven't had very many problems with it. Mainly just comes down to Wi-Fi signal. And it honestly has really saved me in a couple scenarios, especially when it comes to being at school and you don't have a laptop and you just have an iPad, but at home you have a desktop computer. This works with Mac OS as well. So if you have a MacBook or iMac and you wanna take your iPad with you and you don't have to do very graphic intensive things, but you need some of those Windows or Mac applications, this will actually, be amazing for you. So if you just need to have, uh, if you just want to have your iPad with you and not have any other devices, but you have like a desktop at home or like an iMac, this will be really good. So all you have to do is just connect to it and you can. Uh. So this makes it really easy if you're just trying to use just your iPad for school. It lightens your bag a little bit. Doesn't doesn't always require you to have a laptop as well for some people who can't afford that but have an iPad. I was in that boat for a little while where I had an iPad. I had the 10.5 inch iPad and I didn't have a laptop. My laptop broke. So the school computers, sometimes the labs are busy or you know, you're out and about and you need to do something, but you can't, you need an actual computer. This was actually a total lifesaver for me. I was able to connect to my desktop at home and use my computer mostly how I would if I were just sat down at a lap with a laptop or, you know, with a desktop. So if you have a desktop at home and you're, and you're trying to use the iPad more so than you are, than you, uh, if you're just trying, if you're just trying to use your iPad and your desktop as a combination of devices, but you don't want to have to get a laptop, this is something that could be a fair compromise between having another laptop or another computer that's a laptop and having a desktop as well. Um, for me, my applications, I actually needed to get a laptop, so I ended up getting one a little bit later. But, you know, for a lot of people, I feel like this will be more than enough and can solve a lot of problems. Like I said, you can fill up that entire iPad screen and have a kind of have a full screen experience. And like I said, again, if you have a magic keyboard or one of those Bluetooth keyboards, and especially with a trackpad, this will be really great and really amazing, especially once they fully update the application and support the input from like a magic keyboard, let's say. Um, definitely would check it out. And if, so let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and if this application works for you, if you've used it, or if you have your own recommendations, I would love to hear it and maybe even test it out and do a review of those and compare these two applications. I've been using this application a lot over the past two and a half years. I've actually owned an iPad Pro. And like I said, it's come in handy a lot. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one.